Hi, in this short tutorial I'll show you how to create God rays in Blender, so stay tuned until the end. I'm using Blender 4.2 and the new EV engine is selected. I explained in detail in the tutorial here. Next, press Z and switch to render mode. It's fully real time. Start by adding the lights. Here I've added an area light to serve as a rim light. My second light is an HDRI. Let's open the shader editor and switch to the world. I've connected an HDRI image that I downloaded from HDRI Haven. I also have a tutorial on lighting and lighting techniques which you can watch here. Next, press Shift A, go to the mesh section and add a cube object. This cube will serve as the fog volume. Press S to scale it up. Okay, the size looks good. In the shader editor, switch to the object tab and create a new material. Let's rename it. We don't need the current shader. Press Shift A and navigate to the shader section. Next, add a principled volume shader. This shader creates fog in the scene, which helps add gut rays. Connect it to the volume input. The volume intensity is too high, it's making everything invisible. First, choose a low value. The appropriate density will depend on the scale of scene. Great! Next, adjust the emission strength. A low value should be sufficient. For the color, a gray shade works well for the emission. This is a basic volume shader. For a more professional setup, you can watch the tutorial here. Next, let's navigate through the scene. As you can see, the god rays are now visible. This light is responsible for creating the god rays in the scene. You can tweak the settings like the emission color to enhance the god rays in the scene, adjusting the density to a higher value or increasing the emission strength. Alternatively, you can add more lights or increase the intensity of the existing lights. For instance, I'll activate this sunlight. A lot of rays have appeared. The light is coming from this direction. You can apply this volume shader to any scene to create fog and gut rays effortlessly. If you know other methods to achieve this effect, please share them in the comments. Also, if you have any Blender ideas, feel free to leave them in the comments. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this tutorial, please give it a like and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And if you have any questions and ideas, feel free to share them in the comments.